We've known like a lot of tools in our life. So many tools. There's been tools that have come and gone, mm -hmm. stayed a little too long, left a little too early. Mm -hmm. Some weren't the, the sharpest tools, tools in, in the, the shed. shed. <laughs> But we still liked using them. Mm -hmm. Unless you find some really unique and other really important uses for them. <laughs> and if that's the case, we understand, we don't judge. Our utility belt is equipped with incredible <laughs> beauty tools that are all must-have. Must-have. And we are here to share them with you. Tool number one. <laughs> What's his name? Just kidding. <laughs> are these awesome clips? They are the most awesome. They're so strong. They make it so easy to section off when you're curling your hair. These were from Walmart. They are called True Silk. I crock and it's like you get it in there and then like you get it in there and it's just not going to move. They're just really strong clips that really like keep everything where you want them to be. They're amazing tools. So the next tool in our utility belt, hold on, <laughs> is this amazing brush, but it actually isn't this amazing brush, but it's not amazing how much hair is in there. And usually you're like, where's the comb? Where's the comb? I need to clean out the brush. And you're like pulling it. No, no, no. Not with this amazing tool. The brush cleaner. You can have little brushes, big brushes, and then it's just like, what? Oh, it's no big thing. I mean, this is disgusting. It's really embarrassing. I have this blonde roommate. She never cleans up her brush. <laughs> it's like, how rude can you be? Like, what? <laughs> what just happened? This was in here. Not anymore. Isn't that amazing? It's the best. So, I've had a lot of really hot tools come into my life, but I've never really had a place to put them <laughs> <laughs> until now. Let us introduce to you tool number three. Notice how all of these very hot tools are on this really amazing matte surface that will not burn. Would you call this a silicone mat? I feel like I would call it a silicone mat. You can put it anywhere. Sometimes we like to curl our hair sitting on the floor in front of the mirror. Yep. And so guess what we do? We take the mat with us and we set it on the floor to put our hot tools on. And it's easy, like Sunday morning. Mm. So another tool in our shed, scissors. Little hand held scissors. We purchased these at Target. You can get them at any local drugstore, grocery store. There are so many times when my shirt isn't laying right, the tag mm -hmm. is in the way, mm -hmm. there's a sweater you're wearing, uh -huh. there's a string, and instead of just like pulling the string, ruining the shirt, ripping the tag, and then you have a rip, it's happened so many times to all of us. Just think about it. Eyebrows. I mean, give me a break. If a hair on your head isn't going as planned, it's like <laughs> fine. How many tools have you cut? I mean, there's just a few tools I've just cut out. <laughs> this beautiful, lovely piece of metal is not just a piece of metal with a hole in it. It's a metal palette. And guess what you're gonna do with it? As opposed to using, oh, the back of your hand or like a makeup sponge that absorbs all of your foundation, mm. you're going to use this as your palette to create different colors, to blend, to mix, to match to your perfect shade of skin according to how bad your spray tan has faded. <laughs> <laughs> you can use this for mixing. You can put like your lipstick on here and mix it with another color. It's just a nice way to take your products, mix them up. Some days I'm darker than others. Some days I don't want as much coverage and so I want a tinted moisturizer. So you mix these together and then apply it on your face. Ooh, oh, look how pretty. And it's fun. You feel like an artist. Mm. 
And when you're done using it, you just take a tissue or a wipe and you just wipe it off and put it back without any messes. Jane Aradell, great item, great tool, solid tool. This isn't what you think. I bet you're thinking everything they've talked about is a true beauty tool. And you're thinking those are latex gloves. And for those of you who are allergic to latex, do you get it? No, dang it. For those of you who are allergic <sighs> to latex, you can also get vinyl gloves. There's other types. Anyway, I take pride in my latex gloves because they are a true beauty tool. Self-tanners of any kind, of any type, are never to be on the hands. It's happened, it's been a disaster. I have been to lunches, I've been to parties, and my hands were a true embarrassment because I had self-tanner stained all over them. This keeps everything clean and just as it should be. So you can apply any self-tanning lotion and then you just take them off and the job is done. So not only can you use this to protect your hands while putting on your self-tanner, but while painting your nails and removing your nail polish on your toes. And you can also put lotion on your hands and slide the latex gloves on and use them as a hand treatment. You don't need to spring for the expensive mitts for the hand treatment. Just use your latex gloves. This tool is something that we found at Sephora that is going to help you put on your false lashes. Mm -hmm. Because how annoying is it to try to do it yourself and you're like, it's a mess and it doesn't work well and it's tricky. So we have found that this works really well and it also has the other side that you can use to really press the base in there. Let us show you how it's done. You're gonna take the lash, put the glue on, you're gonna hold the lash just like this, keep it clamped, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna take it over to the mirror, close your eye, and you're gonna place it down in there. I don't have glue on it, I'm not actually putting it on right now. Okay? And you leave it there, and then you take the other side. This is my favorite part of the tool. And you push it down on the ends and on the base so that it stays. Capiche? Capiche. It's awesome. It really is so awesome. It just helps it so you can get at a better angle that your hands can't get to. This is a really secure tool. You know, I feel very safe with that I tool. I feel very safe. I don't usually feel safe with tools. Me either. Would you say it's like your security blanket though? Mm, I don't know that I'd go that far, Laura. Okay. Michelle, it's good to know. <laughs> Great tool though. One of the sharpest tools in the shed. So sharp it cuts like a knife, except for it doesn't. <laughs> the Tinkle Razor. Guess why? This made the list of the beauty must-have tools. Because this, my friends, is something that Michelle and I think you should never live without. And if you haven't heard about this, we have actually done a video on this before, so check it out. The link is below. Otherwise, what we use this for is, obviously, you usually don't have full makeup on when doing this, but this takes all of the unwanted facial hair off of your face. It removes everything. It also couples as an exfoliator because it removes the dead dry skin that's just sitting upon your face. The Tinkle Razor is a must-have beauty tool for any woman at any age, at any time, and in any shed. So, <laughs> sometimes at the last minute, you need to flat iron your hair. When you're running out the door, when you're running to the airport, when you are leaving a friend's house and you took your stuff there, and you just need to take it with you. That's where this handy thing comes in. A hot tools pouch, if you will. I will. This is something that you can put your hot irons, um, flat irons, curling irons, whatever. You put them in while they're hot, unplug, turn off, and you're on the go. This is a real lifesaver, especially when you're always running late to the airport. I wouldn't know anything about that, but I'm sure for people that are irresponsible and always running late, this would be a real great tool for them. Tool number 10. 
happens to be a towel with Velcro. <laughs> How annoying is it when you have a towel, you're like, you're trying oh, to hold, hold it on. and shove oh, it in, hold on. and you're going like this, <laughs> and then you're trying to like so annoying your hair, and it's dropping, and it's but like, then you're like so hot. You put a robe on, and it's like I don't want to be wearing a robe, but I don't want to be wearing a towel that I have to shove in. No, what better tool than a Velcro? Towel. towel like slash kind of rope like slash kind of awesome tool it's just like the convertible of all robes on top of that mm -hmm. it has these strategically placed oh. little pockets I don't know about you guys but when I'm getting ready I like to have music going I like to put my little headphones in and call Lara and talk to her about her day mm -hmm. and there is the perfect little pouch for your phone so there you have it. There you have it. The top 10 tools. If you have any tools that are holding you down in life, you should get rid of that tool and get new ones. It's the biggest tool you know. Probably. <laughs> Who's the biggest tool you know? But on a real note, if there's like a tool in your life, get rid of him. Like now that we're talking about tools, there are no tools allowed in any of our subscribers' lives. No. No. Oh. Replace one, get ten. It's like buy one, get ten free. Or it's something. Not like it's that, like but that, it's but similar not. to that. It's, but like it's kind of not like that. They're not free, it's more like minus one. But in the long run, that actually right. costs you a lot more because oh, shit, how thing acts is sold. Mm -hmm. But anyway, those are our ten beauty tools. Love you.